You know, it's hard to believe it's been uh, almost four years since Billy's passing. And it seems like it was just yesterday. And when we look around, we see that uh, not a lot has changed. The fight still goes on. We're still struggling to get the environment cleaned up, the waters cleaned up, have enough water. Still trying to protect the salmon still trying to ensure for the native people a way of life that we've had for thousands of years. We thought Billy would want people to come together. He would want to hear from scientists. What is the best science available? And we wanted to create a single venue that once a year, if you're interested in salmon, you could come to the Billy Frank Salmon Summit and have a real time understanding of the current state of the salmon. Once you have a clear vision of what we need to do collectively, it is hard to accept anything less. If you're gonna do the work that the salmon defense people want to work, I hope today you'll agree to form a coalition of interests. With, with different parties, many of whom are not in this room right now. You know, if the, the, who, who thought in 1983 it would be possible for you to, to join up with the Charter Boat Association, which had sued you uh, and challenged your treaty rights for years, but they saw a common interest. They needed to save the salmon, and they needed a treaty with Canada. And they came to work with you and help form that coalition. We have to do this. We, not just the tribes, not just the environmental groups, not just the state, not just the feds. We all need to do this. We have this whiteboard over here with the design on it, harvester with a net. And we ask that you Step forward if you're committed to working together in a coalition aspect or just under the word we. We are going to do this together. And when we say we, it's not just tribes. It's everyone that's taken part here today. Everyone that is impacting this resource. I ask you to step forward and sign and make a commitment that you're willing, when called upon, to step forward and do what you need to do. How do we bring Uncle Billy's work to tomorrow, and to a year from now, and to a hundred years from now? We've got nowhere else to fish. We haven't had an economy on the salmon for almost 40 years. And when you lose that link to the salmon, you lose that link to your culture, your identity, and it's hard to get those kids out on the river. Nobody can fill Billy Frank Jr.'s shoes, but what we can do is all work together and come together for our salmon, for our natural resources, for our habitat. We have to change the way that we do this work. And we have to decolonize our landscape, physically and politically. We have to move away from those pollution-based and extraction-based economies. We have to move away from the actions or inactions that continue to wreak havoc on our environment and that only enable further habitat destruction. We have to fix the culverts. We have to enforce water quality standards. We have to hold polluters accountable. We have work to do, so let's get to work.